Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on once again for a video about a friend that you may not have seen in a very long time. This is the Acer Aspire 1 D250 and it's up here because there's some remodeling going on in the room that it was sitting. So I've decided that since people keep complaining about its presence anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move it into the closet, but it's going to get some upgrades through the course of this video. The first thing that I've done is if I close it, and it's running on battery right now, but the same, or sorry, it's running on the AC right now, but the same thing would be true if it was running on battery. It's just the reaction would be slightly different. And I come over here to this computer, and you can see over here that I can still talk to it. no difficulty at all. I have it set up such that when I close the lid, if it's on battery power, it turns the display off. If it's on AC, it does nothing. So that will allow me to put it in that rack without having to reorganize anything, which should be very nice. But what we're going to do now is we are going to upgrade this thing. should be able to see that this thing is only running with one gigabyte of RAM. And so what we're going to do we're going to upgrade it to 2 gigs of RAM. So let's get started with that. Okay, shut it down. Now the question of the day here is which door is the memory under? I'm going to assume it's this one. The other thing I notice is something very interesting about this Windows XP COA here. You can see, well, before I blocked it or moved that with my thing here, I probably don't have to cover it. I don't think Microsoft would really care, but I'm not taking the risk. It says Windows XP Home Edition, the ULC PC, and I'm curious what ULC PC means. Ultra low capability PC, maybe? That's certainly my guess. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. So we'll take that out. And again, assume correctly that that is our RAM. And be horrified by the fact that apparently this is a PC 250-300. That could be a problem. I don't know if this will actually take 6400, but I suppose we'll find out. This is also a different, uh, slightly different arrangement. So all kinds of things could be working against us. It is Hynix memory though. You can see I did give it somewhat of a cleaning. It's nice and red, which I just love. I really love that. I wish the later ones were solid colors like that. And we'll try turning it on. Let's see what it does. Aha! power on self-test. Sweet. It doesn't really tell us how much memory it has on this screen. It's not a very good system. It's only an N270. So, fairly low end. But here we go. 2048 megabytes. That's what I like to see. Should be able to exit. I haven't made any changes. We'll boot it up into Linux and make sure that Linux is happy about everything. This is not a very interesting video, um, but it is something that I've needed to do for a while. Uh, the next step is going to be probably, because I do want a second uh, automation machine for family-friendly purposes. There's another netbook up there, the other Acer netbook. I'm probably going to do the same thing. I think it might already have two gigs in it, but it's running Windows. And I'm going to keep it running Windows. And get. An, I have an extra external hard drive that I could use with it, that I'm going to use with it, and I'll find an Ethernet cable and hook it up, and we'll get that going as well. And since I've got extra space in there, that makes my life easy. Two gigs should be much better than one gig, even for a 32-bit. Of course, that's the maximum this thing can take, unless for some reason you manage to find a four gigabyte memory module, uh, DDR2, I'm not so sure those exist, and even if they did, it's not really guaranteed that the system would support it. 1.9 gigabytes. Slightly less than 2 gigs because it's using the onboard video and all that. Okay, well, I thought there'd be a little bit more light than that so you'd be able to see it better, but there it is. In place in the rack, you can see the little white light from the hard drive right there. And there, of course, the system is working as intended, at least mostly. Now I just need to get everything else set back up, 
but I'm not really going to bore you with that in this video, so thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. Hope to see you next time. Till then.